Hello everyone, my name is Emerald Spencer, and welcome to a video that I have wanted to do since November. And this is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Now, as you can see, because of the update video, I told you all about my room and whatnot. I've got my microphone over here, and I have to wear my earphones for this because I don't... I was getting feedback from the TV speakers when I was testing this. Long story short, I think I've got everything in order for this. And we're just gonna hop right into it. So, um, yeah, hopefully the audio isn't too bad. I've tested this setup, and it worked when I tested it. I don't know how well that's going to work in application, but let's just go. Pokemon, let's go, Eevee. I was using the Nintendo Online service to test if everything was working properly, so that's why I had it going. So we're just going to go in with my account here. And there we go. Now... I showed this to you guys during the much needed update video. So we're just going to get this onto my left hand and get this going. Ooh, okay. So control stick is select, press the control stick is confirm. Okay, we're playing the game. Press the top button to open the main menu. Okay. And if I hit A on this screen. Alright. Then shake his others. Top button is quit. Alright. Confirm. This will be my first time playing this game. So, here goes. Now see, I like... A lot of people, they like the wrist strap. They don't like the ring. I actually like the ring. I don't like the wrist strap. So... That opening was just absolutely magical. And I think I just heard my cat complaining, so give me a sec here. Needy little kitty. Uh, whatever. Uh, we are in English. And begin game. Bye, Eevee. Ooh. Yes, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, I really like this music. It feels nostalgic and awesome at the same time. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Those two don't have to be apart, so... This is loud in my ears. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Hey, a Cubone! This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. If you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions. Others have them do battle. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? All right. Oh, that's right. They have trainer customization in this. All right. Let's see. But I can't have silver eyes and dark hair. I guess we go with this one. And how about a name? Ah, this is gonna take forever with the Pokeball. So my name is indeed Spencer. Alright. Evie, come back! Oh boy. This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What was his name now? You're my rival, Archer. Start training. Spencer, my boy. Come on, you think I'm ever gonna let that meme go? Actually, did I, did I do that reference? 
I missed the dialogue, but it's generic professor stuff. I've gone through seven generations of this already. Well, more accurately, four, two, three, whatever. Story. Wait, is this supposed to be that I was transported into the Pokemon world? I'm confused. Alright. Well, right away, stick movement is very natural. Okay. What's this? How many Pokemon are there in the world? 720... No, wait. That was Gen... It's... I think it was 810 as of Mel Metal. I'm not sure. Let's see. There's an email from Archer. Hey Spencer, so press the A button, talk to all the kinds of people, and tilt the tilt the main menu, open the X button. That's right. Ah, okay. Ooh, Pokemon Go settings. I'll do that later. Uh, open controller settings. I like fast text. Battle effects on, battle style switch. I'll take on. I'm not gonna turn on movie skipping. Background music, something. We'll go back to that. Alright. So it looks like I can't do anything else yet. Well then, I suppose, hmm, doesn't look like it's having an issue recording anything, so on our way! I'm coming up! What? Is it up and at him? Ah, it's Archer! What's going on? You got one weird look on your face. Aw, oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally a big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do, you read the email I sent you yesterday, right? Yes, I did. You better have check your computer if you didn't. I did. I'm gonna go book it for Professor Oak's lab, so see you there. Come on, I want to see what this cool, awesome, reimagined Kanto looks like. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, no. So it, I can't go to Mystery Gift yet. Because I still have... I can't access it while using this as a controller. I've still got Mew trapped in this thing. Which I unfortunately found out is not affected by Cel Madame Celadon. So I'm just going to have to take my best shot as soon as I can get it. Hi, Mom. Off you go, Professor Slab. Arthur asked the Professor to give you two, the two of you Pokemon of your own, didn't he? There. Let's go. This looks kind of like an ultra-refined version of the XY Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire graphics. Mind you, that's not a bad thing. I was actually quite a fan of that art style. I do like the properly proportioned, like, uh, what's, a, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, the trainers look ultra-realistic in Sun and Moon, but I do like it when it has a more cartoony art style. Since, you know, it's a fantasy Pokemon world and all. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. So, already I can tell it's going to be extremely difficult. There we go. I can already tell I'm going to have difficulties with the fact that the A button is pressing in on the control stick. Especially in these kind of situations. So there's Archer's house. I wonder. Oh, I can go in there. I wonder if that balcony out there is functional. This is Archer's older sister, right? So he was going to Professor Oak's lab. Yep. And you guys don't have it upstairs, even though on the outside you clearly do. Heck, I can even see the window. Never mind. So, I did just see Professor Oak up over that way. Yep, dealing with a horde of Pidgey. Uh, I'm raising Pokemon too. Make it strong, they'll be able to protect me. Alright, let's see. 
Technology is incredible! Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them! Alright, so I guess into the lab we go. Actually, I'm so glad they don't have the press the A button to go into doors thing like they had in Sun Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because that would be infuriating with these controls. I study. I also study Pokemon as Professor Oak's assistant. I also study. Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers think highly of him. Alright. What's up? Oh, Spencer, Professor Oak isn't here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine. So just take one. Or not. It's an email. Pokemon League Indigo Plateau. Asking for Professor, for Professor Oak to visit again. Alright. And what's in here? There are Pokeballs in a mysterious machine. Wonder what it is. It looks like there's research being done. It appears to be on Rattata and Raticate. But now we are going to head up to the route. And let's see what Professor Oak has for us, because I talked to literally everyone already. Hi, Oak. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think you, I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Bye bye, Pidgey. Oh, if it isn't Spencer. Of course, I promised to give you an archer your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Hmm? I heard Eevee. What's this? Hi, Eevee. Ooh. Oh, you encountered a wild Eevee. My, my. I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since we have... Since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw your poke out your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. Alright, so for those of you who somehow made it to February without knowing this, uh, this game does not feature wild Pokemon battles. You just throw a Pokeball to catch it. And literally, I'm throwing a Pokeball! Disclaimer, do not actually throw your Pokeball plus. You may damage it or whatever you're throwing it at. Oh, come on! I would have had an excellent right there. Oh, I think Eevee yelled through the Pokeball. I didn't even notice because I was pointing it away from me. The mic probably picked it up anyway, so... That was a pretty fine furnace for a first-timer, my boy. <clears throat> my boy! Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Eevee you caught a name? What in the? Now that's a lively Pokemon I've ever seen on- wait, what? Hey wait, come back! Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there. I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Spencer caught just now. So wait, Spencer, you caught it yourself? What? Well, I've never seen that happen before. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> how interesting. Well, my boy, take the, that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. Okay. So that caught me off guard, because I knew Pokemon could break out of Pokeballs like May's Skitty, Ash's Oshawa, Jesse's Wobbuffet, but never before have I seen them manipulate the Pokeball from within it. The closest I've seen to that is Muk's stench leaking out from Ash's Muk's Pokeball. But uh, yeah, so I think it was this one, right? Oh, I think it's trying to tell you- <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's this one! I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. Alright. I 
Let's see what happens. That's better. Evie is adorable. Bye. Evie's my Pokemon! Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place. But it looks as though it's taking a shine to you, Spencer. Why not give it a name? I don't generally nickname my Pokemon unless I have a good reason. Professor, I chose this one. Or choose this one. Oh, so Archer gets Pikachu. Okay, and then I assume in Let's Go Pikachu, your rival gets an Eevee. So. Eevee! Hi! Eevee is staring at your face. Alright, what about now? Oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Eevee, turn your way and grinned happily. Can I play with Eevee yet? All right, mystery guest now available. The bag is uh, my box. All I have is E. Uh, medicine pocket, TM case. All right. So I guess for a new trainer to catch their first Pokemon themselves, even I've never seen such a thing. I'm pretty sure there are several games with that exact setup. Possibly. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, no, 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 wait. That is a commentary on the fact that you don't actually get to battle slash catch Pokemon in most games until you have one of your own. Clever there. Clever. All right, what about you, Richard? It's really cute. Pikachu's just what I wanted. All right. I wonder if real Archer would actually be saying that. I expect a heated comment section or Discord chat room from him. Slash you if you're the one watching this right now. Alright, and... Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. I swear, old man, if you need me to refill the Pokedex, because I know red, blue, and green are canon in this world. What is that thing, Professor? This is the Pokedex I have designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught and makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Spencer and Archer, I want each of you to- I want you each to take one with you. I also want you to start reading words in order. Very nice timing with the animation there. You'll find you can't get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream! But I'm an old man now, too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want young trainers to fulfill my dream with me. Or for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. The Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now. Spencer, you should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. Oh, you better believe I'm ready. Right, Evie? Evie's looking all around below. Eh, come on. I feel a cutscene coming on. Yep, it's Mom! Oh, how cute! This is the one you got from the professor? What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing! What should I call your new friend? Eevee? It's a lovely Pokemon. Hmm. My, how energetic! I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. Town map! Yay! Always know exactly where you are. So, I wonder when... I know shaking the Pokeball side to side can pull some menu up. I just don't know which one. I mean, other than the obvious in here. But... Alright, so... I suppose... I see some bell sprout in the grass over there. A lot of bell sprout actually. Do I even have Pokeballs? 
I suppose I must. But... I guess let's just move on. Oh, that's a ledge. Oh! Oh, Evie found something! Oh. Evie, where are you? Raspberry. Sweet. Alright, I don't want a Pidgey right now, thank you. I'll go Pidgey hunting later. Hey, Viridian City! I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Yeah, because apparently... Or, actually, I think they fixed the logical fallacy with, um... With current generation trees. Nope, it looks like they're the same as always. That is Team Rocket. But, this tree looks like it could be chopped down. Yeah, so, um, in case you were unaware, in Pokemon XY Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, anytime you met with a tree you need to cut, they changed it to a thorny tree. So it would make sense why you can't go past it. But here it just looks... It looks like a regular bush. I could probably push my way through it, like, as I am right now. I think. Right, tree. Hmm. Alright, so... I wonder if anything interesting is going to happen around here. Especially since I'm pretty sure I'm here way before I'm supposed to be. Ooh, what's this? Five Pokeballs! Cool! Alright. Let's see if I can get a good addition to the team. Doesn't look like anything spawned. Hey, an antidote. So it looks like if you poke around the bushes just on your... Oh. What's up, Eevee? If wrestlers about the nearby presence of Pokemon? There's nothing up... Oh, there's a meter around. There's a couple meter around. Okay. Another Nidoran. Alright. Wonder what happens if I try to go in here. Only truly skilled trainers can pass through here. You don't have a boulder badge yet. You must get it to get to the Pokemon League. Okay. So now. Eevee! Thank you. Tata, one new round. I wonder what my odds of finding a shiny Pokemon would be this early in the play. I assume not likely. Those Pokeballs you've got. You have Pokemon, don't you? It's great they can carry and use your Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Alright, let's just talk to everyone around here before I name the episode. Oh ho! So you're working on Pokedex? Then I'll give you a piece of advice. You do well to stock about Pokeballs out of Pokemart before you continue your adventure. Alright. So there's that guy. He gives you a TM. I forget which one. What's up, Eevee? Dropped in the flower bed. Ooh, a pretty wing. Cool. Alright, so then talk to you. Did you know there are actually two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? Caterpillar Pokemon? Yes, there's actually a bunch more, just not in this game. Then we have... You! Yo there! Kid from Pallet Town! That was... Oh! 
Hey, you came up from Palatown? You must know Professor Oak, right? I've got a delivery for him, but I really can't leave the Pokemon unattended right now. Can you take this Professor Oak for me? Oh, I got the parcel. All right. We're... Well, there's what we'll do for the next episode. Uh... No, I'm gonna go confront Team... You know, we'll end this episode by confronting Team Rocket, and I'll start the next episode back in the lab. So, Team Rocket! What are you doing? Wait, what? What do you want? <clears throat> what do you want? Tw Ugh, I can't do Jesse's voice. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now, twerp. We're in the middle of guard duty, and it's very important. Oh, that's hyper disappointing. Meowth should talk. What do you think you're doing here, twerp? Shoo, go pester someone else. Aw, oh, I, I made the twerp joke too early. Uh. Alright. Well, that was a big old nothing burger. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment so inclined, so inclined, ring the notification bell, keep the update with all my future videos. Website and Patreon links are in the description below. I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.